There are a lot of turnkey companies out there, but they target. They target people in New York. They target people in California, right? Those are the two biggest markets for turnkey real estate companies. Why? Because people in California and New York, they're living in really expensive areas. And today I'm working with a client from New York, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a better way to do it. I'm going to show you a way to do turnkey investing where the person on the ground is on your team as opposed to selling you a property they own. Because when they sell you a property they own, every dollar they make is a dollar you lose. Every dollar you make is a dollar they lose, right? Why would they give you their money? Maybe instead we do it different, New York. We align our interests. If that makes sense to you and you're in New York or California or any of the other markets out there that are very expensive and you're considering turnkey investing, I just want a few minutes of your time. I think you're going to be very happy with what I can do for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. As mentioned, I'm working for a New York investor. Kim, how are you doing, Kim? Now, you and I, Kim, we've been together for a while. I've been sending you a lot of videos because that's what we do. That's how this program works, folks. If you're interested in it, after you're done watching the show, if you like what me and Kim are doing, you just click the notes below and you could uh, fill out the questionnaire and book a free call with my team. We'll walk you through in more detail. But what the gist of it is, you get customized videos, right? You tell me about yourself. Kim, I know you're from New York. I know you want multifamily properties. And then I start sending you videos with properties that fit your needs, where my team can handle the property management so you don't have to. Makes sense, right? But sometimes during this process, Kim, we need to take a U-turn. That wasn't even a U-turn. That was just like a little left or a U-turn would be like, whatever. We need to change gears. And that's what I'm doing because it's just a very much evolving process, right? We're on the same team. I work for you. I don't work for any of these sellers. The properties I present to you are not mine. I don't own them, okay? You, I work for you. I'm on your team, right? It's a fight. There's the seller. There's the seller's agent. Here's me. Here's you, Kim. Oh, shit, Kim, you're not here because you're in New York, but that's cool because I do this all day. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate. I'll fight both those motherfuckers, right? That's what I do. I do it for you. And through the course of working for you, Kim, I've realized a lot of the properties I've been sending you, they're much cheaper than the one I have for you today, but they're also much older. You've said, ah, you know what? The deals you're sending me, I'm attracted to them. I've been looking on the internet, looking on Zillow, looking here, looking there. The pricing is great. The rents are great. But, man, these are some rough old homes. And that's true. Some of them are. Uh, there are risks associated with those properties, and I talk about those quite often here on Holton Wise TV. Uh, but today I wanted to... To switch gears, Kim. I wanted to send you something that's 50 years newer than most of those and is in a much nicer neighborhood. Now, the numbers are going to be a little bit different, maybe not as sexy, but I think when you see the quality uh, of the home and of the neighborhood, I think it might be something that is more exciting to you because I think when you're investing out of state, folks, outside of getting a team on the ground, one of the other things is you got to make sure you're buying it right. But how do you really know when you're buying it right when all the houses just seem so cheap compared to where you live? But then you find out, oh, I still overpaid, right? You don't want to do that or you don't want to buy a problem. So with this, it's incredibly low risk. And the further you are away from your property, the higher your risk is, right? So if you're out of state from New York and you're investing in a place like Ohio, which is what Kim is doing, we want to minimize those risks as much as possible. And I believe this property does it. Welcome back. This, this is what you pay for, right? This is the part of the show where I earn my keep, okay? I got to present to you the numbers, the numero unos, all right? I like this house. 
This is B, B, B grade stuff, okay? Now, we're in the Cleveland market, right? This is a suburb called O'Leary. It's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland, okay? This is a solid 1976 B grade duplex, right? You guys, you read the ultimate guide to grading, grading Cleveland neighborhoods that I wrote, right? If you never heard of that, it's in the show notes below. Click it when you're done with the video. But not now! Don't screw up my watch time on the algorithm. I will get pissed! But when you're done, when you're done, right? Check that out, and you'll see I graded everything on an A to F scale. This is a B. This is what a B-class neighborhood is going to look like, folks. A lot of owner-occupants are driving up pricing in these neighborhoods. You're going to get very, very stable tenants. As you can see, this is the vacant unit I'm cruising through. It's dated, but that's okay because we're going to fix it. That's where the bottom unit is, right? We're going to fix up the unit. My team will handle all the on-the-ground work. Man, look at this driveway. That's huge. That backyard right up to the woods there. That's very nice, right? Now, we're going to handle the renovations, right? We're going to make this house up to date, right? We're not going to get top dollar in rent with our kitchen looking like this, dude. Where is it? It came right out of the 70s. we got to upgrade this a little bit. But we don't have to redo the cabinets, though. We're just going to repaint them, and we're going to slap a new countertop on there, bring it up into the 21st century or 22nd century or wherever the hell we are. It's probably the same century. Maybe it's not because it's 2022, and this was 76, so that was technically a century. Moral of the story, we can't have it looking like your grandma's house because people ain't going to pay top dollar rent. But my team, we handle all that, so you don't have to live locally. We take care of that, right? So simple, right? About 15 Gs. We're going to put about 15 Gs into this. And as you see there, I got a purchase price of 160 k That's what I think you're going to need to pay for this, right? As you see here, they got it listed at 179.9. My job as your advocate, is to fight for you and get you that $20,000 discount. So I believe I can do so, right? Sold $200 million worth of the stuff. I know how to negotiate a real estate deal, folks. I believe I can put this together for you for one sixty. dollars put fifteen k in reno to get that unit up to snuff, right? We're going to redo that kitchen. Okay, we're going to use some extra money, a little paint, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You will get a full line by line construction bid from Holton Weiss Contracting when the time is appropriate. More information on when that will be is in the fact on HoltonWeiss.com, right? So an all-in investment of 175. What are you going to get with that? Well, the unit I just talked about fixing up, we're going to rent that bad boy for 900 a month. Now, the basement unit is currently marketed uh, I'm sorry, not marketed, below market rented. It's rented, but below market rate is what I'm trying to say, stumbling over my words. Those current tenants are paying six and a quarter. Eventually, we'll want to work them up because if they're going to live in this nice of a neighborhood, they should really be paying 800 Now, if you're wondering, same amount of bedrooms, why is the upstairs paying $100 more? Because it's the freaking upstairs. That's why. Of course you're going to pay more. It's a bigger unit. It's above ground. The other one's a garden unit. Garden is a fancy real estate term for saying it's in the fucking basement. Obviously, they're going to pay less. But 800 is still quite a bit for this market, right? So 17 hundo, 20400 for the year. If you're new to real estate, uh, you may not know this, but you don't get to keep all that twenty k, right? That's not practical. This chart, that shows you what's practical, right? These are the fixed and variable expense estimates that come along with being a real estate investor, right? If you're in a nice neighborhood like this, yeah, you don't really deal with a lot of evictions, but we got a plan for it because no investment will ever run perfectly forever. Same thing with taxes, CapEx, insurance, water, sewer, the whole shebang. It's all right there. As you can see, I believe your pure profit will be about 9 Gs a year. With your $175,000 investment, remember, that's me fighting for you as your advocate to so you get this 179 down to 160 Then my team handling that entire renovation for you, all in 175 You put down 65 That's going to represent forty grand as a down payment, fifteen grand for the reno. The bank will kick in the rest. 30-year note, 120 k mortgage. Should all pencil out to a 5% cash-on-cash return. That cash on cash return does not account for your actual uh, internal rate of return when you sell it down the road, which is going to also factor in things like principal pay down and appreciation because a very, very nice neighborhood like this, okay, what happens to real estate over time if it's nice? It goes up, right? That's like kind of how the whole freaking shebang works. Now, truth be told, though, Cleveland itself is not 
historically a cash flow uh, well, I should say it's historically a cash flow market. People come here for the cash flow. They don't historically come here for the appreciation. However, nice little area like this should still see some appreciation, and then you get that nice little cash flow, and you're going to own the property and have a very, very easy ownership experience, right? Do we have properties in the Cleveland market that are much cheaper than this? Absolutely. We can do like $1,500 a month for $100,000 duplexes. But you have to understand, you're going down in asset class, and now you're not getting 1976 properties that look like that. You're getting properties built in like the 20s. We can do that. We do that with a lot of stuff. Most of my personal portfolio is a lot of that lower income Section 8 type stuff. But what I think the biggest thing a lot of you need to think about is diversification, folks. If you're going to have a large portfolio, you shouldn't have all your eggs in one basket, right? You want to take some of your higher risk stuff and balance it out with super low, li uh, low risk plays like this. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.